Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on? How we doing, guys? Back with another episode of Road to the Show. We're on the bus. I'm in my Wake Forest gear. All right, um, hat, little BP top. You guys know I'm pretty sure that uh, that I played at Wake Forest for three years. I also coached there for one year. So want to throw this on for one. Black and gold is just a great, great look. Antonelli baseball. We stole it from Wake Forest slash Vanderbilt because I really like black and gold. Um, also though. A lot of people have been saying to me, like, Matt, why has your guy got long hair? Like, you don't have long hair. You, you're going bald. You have no hair. It makes no sense. Well, back in my Wake Forest days, I had long hair. And then I actually had long hair uh, when I was drafted by the Padres. And, you know, people would kind of make fun of it for how long it was. And sometimes they'd tell me, i got to trim it up a little bit and keep it short. You know, there was a hair policy uh, with the Padres, I don't remember how long it was, but you kind of, you know, above the collar, I think it was. And sometimes my hair would get really, really long. And so I had to cut it a couple times, but I mean, I love my my long hair, and uh, and so I just, you know, wanted to show those pics and and represent Wake for a little bit. Okay, before we play this game, last game I was talking about AJ Ellis in the scouting report, and uh, I, I said like 16 times. I'm going to tell you in a second, and then I just never told you. So I'm going to tell you right now. So we're playing a game, and uh, after the game, I go out to eat with AJ. We're eating at P.F. Chang's, great establishment. And, uh, you know, we're talking about the game or whatever, and um, just I'm struggling. I'm hitting this. This is the year I'm hitting like 165, and it, it's bad. It's really bad. I can't get a hit. So we're going over players and stuff and scouting reports, and I said, hey, man, I go, what's, uh, you know, what are you guys talking about? Um, in your meetings about me, like, what's the scouting report against me? And he's like, he's like, you, you don't, you don't want to know. And I'm like, no, 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 really. Like, I, I want to know what, what's the report? And he's like, I'm, I'm telling you, man. Like, you don't, don't worry about it. You don't want to know. I'm like, come on, just, just tell me. Like, what, what is it? Maybe it'll help me a little bit. Just give me an idea. He's like, you really want to know? I'm like, yes. I've asked five times. He says, we went into the meeting and they, they got down to you and they said, uh, they said, Antonelli, don't walk him. Then they went to the next guy. <laughs> and there is no worse, as a player, there can be no worse scouting report on you than don't walk them. That's essentially telling you <laughs> you should try soccer, okay? So if you ever find out the scouting report on you is don't walk them, get yourself some shin pads and cleats and a nice little soccer ball and, and give that a try, all right? Let's go play. See if I can keep up uh, my hot streak here. Oh, Juan Sweat. When time allows, Matt, it's pretty common that some players will get some extra work in on the practice field. What kind of training do you want me to do? All kinds. Fielding drills, extra throwing, extra throwing. The last thing I want to do in the minor leagues is extra throwing i throw every damn day we have no off days base running my hamstrings are killing me and situational hitting you know what my situational hitting is i just hit dingers just come by and see for yourself dude you're acting like i've never played baseball before i know what kind of training why did i even ask that stupid question i kind of was curious to what he was going to say all right what do we have here uh, I'm hitting in the four hole. Wow. I got my eye black on again, as you guys can see. That worked out last game. So, eye black on, hit with the jock strap only, and I'm up into the four hole now. Let's play. I'm excited for this one. Come on, let's go. What are we, icing the kicker here? Let's go. Here we go. The game's future stars are on Main the Main Street Ultra Field in Tennessee. On the show Tennessee. Somewhere in Tennessee. In Where do the Tennessee the Smokies play? And Those are cute Beltran, uniforms. Will be doing this guy's got a seven. I gotta stop looking. I, I last game I didn't even look. It was all about me. I didn't even look at, at the other team. I didn't look at their stats, nothing. 
318 with 5 and 17. Why am I back to having only one batting glove? Did I have two batting gloves on last game? I didn't even well, I don't even watch my guy. Didn't I, I I put two batting gloves on him? Why am I back to one batting glove? <sighs> okay. They're trying to get in my head right now. I know it. Driving a run, driving around with a power swing, driving around within the first three pitches. I'm going with the power swing, driving a run. Lefty, four steam slider, change up and curveball. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And they okay. go right after him on the inside corner. It's a nicely located first pitch. Hey, that's a huge pitch right there. You've got to get ahead. When you start to see traffic on the base pass, probably not going to see a heater again. To tighten up a little bit. The best thing to do is pound the zone on and get ahead. On the back, on the back, right here, right here. On the back. To second for one. Wow, they went to second with that, huh? All right, well, now I'm going to steal. And they're runners at the corners now. Matt, get your lead. A pause and the 0 2. Down. Outside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Laura, I hear you walking down the stairs. She's going to like my eye black. Not watch. known for having a cannon of an arm. <laughs> Second, I literally can't even look at you right now. Are you I, kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. Okay, can you pause that for a minute? No, I cannot pause it. Alara, I'm stealing. I'm running. It's real. It's real to me, and we just went deep. You're sitting in the basement wearing eye black. We just went deep. So it's a three what do you need? Straight away right field. Why is Third Maddie still running for him on the year as it's now a three nothing oh. ball game? But I'm in the middle of a hut streak. Yeah, he's Do you want me to shut it off and come upstairs. First pitch and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I'll be up in a couple of minutes. Now at the play, Carlos Fuentes. Okay, three nothing. First opportunity in this one. One out. What's the one two. No one on. No, 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 come on, Matt. <sighs> Don't give me a minus on fielding. Okay. 3.15 with 5 and 17. Stop reading your stats, Matt. All right, one out, first and second. Same guy on the mound. He went fastball in first pitch last time. Does he do it again? First pitch on its way. You'll start him here with a change That's the worst umpire in the world. Unless the catcher is just a horrible frame. I'd be mad too, mustache guy. That ball is completely in the strike zone. Completely. Now he's gonna. Now he's pissed. He's gonna throw me a four seamer right down the middle. He didn't clear it. Should have got off the mound. One and delivery. In there, and it's even at one. What am I doing? I knew he was gonna throw that, and I took it. I froze. A ball and two strikes. Take the strikes, swing at the balls. That's how you hit 200, Matt. I've been there before. Come on. Over his head. Over his head. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Go hard. No, Matt. Get down. <laughs> I wanted to go three right there, and I I realized I had to stop. And I pressed down like before I got to second. second but once he makes sure he's okay physically, I'm sure it'll be just Oh boy. Wow, Matt Skoll, you're hitting the ball well. The first baseman. Digging in for right, one out. at bat. Matt Skoll. He hit a big three run bomb in his On the ground. Well, I gotta read this guy there. I don't know if he's going home or not. He didn't hit it at That's a great read. It's a great read. Slow roller. I know that the third baseman's coming in the field, that thing. And I just move right up. That's a great read. And she says this isn't real life. It's freaking real life. It's a great read. All right. Man on third. Two outs. Get off a little bit more. It doesn't really matter. But come on, Brandon. Put that ball go. It's a homer in a silo. But we're in a baseball field. So he's on. All right, come on. We gotta. I've got to zone in here. I've got to do a better job of getting good reads in the outfield. A, a, a better ready position would be a start, Matt. There we go. Yep. Can of corn. 
Digging in. Let's do it again. Batting take his first cuts here. The center fielder. Now the one and one pitch. Ibarra. Lofted in the air out toward right center. I got it. I got it. I got it. Is after it. He gets there to make the play. Good job. Ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. Okay. Into the box the now. Matt oh no, that's bad news. I just heard Lara scream at my son. This is very bad news. Right yeah, he did I wasn't paying attention. Get that one as last at oh, that was hittable. I'm gonna get yelled at when I go upstairs. Maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Hit in the air down the right field line. Get down. Get down. And he makes the catch in the corner. So, they pick up three so today I've been playing really late at night today. I put my son up to bed and I was like, let me just go downstairs and play a little bit earlier. Because as you guys saw from a few nights ago, I can't hit at midnight. It just doesn't happen. And and I'm hitting better earlier. Um, but the only problem... Oh no, Matt. Oh no. You backing up, dude? That away. And he will make it into third with a one out triple. Well, that's their first. I clearly hit our one way too soon there. I feel like I thought there was going to be a little bit more of a delay. Like the second I hit it, bang, he laid out. Do we have to show a replay? Oh my god. That's horrendous. Speaking of replays, I don't know why this stuff pops into my head. I got to tell you a story about when I'm in Milwaukee. Settling in now. But I can't do it right now because I got to concentrate. First and second, one out, four seam, 12-6, slider, three-pitch guy. He's probably going to throw me something slow, especially around. Oh, it's 9 nothing though. Well, probably still something slow. He throws me a four-seamer. Okay. I was sitting slow. He threw me a four-seam. There's no way he does that again, does he? Yep, he does. And that's a double play. I hit it hard, though. Hit it hard. That's all you can do, buddy. I know it stinks. Should play football. Um, so we're playing Milwaukee, playing the Brewers, and uh, Prince Fielder's up, and I'm hitting again. Hold that thought again. Man on first, two outs, four seam, slider, change up, two seam. I'm gonna sit fastball right away. Let's go. Ah, he threw it, but he threw it down. Didn't see that one very well. Come on, Matt. Good take. This guy kind of like low three quarter, kind of across his body. It feels like maybe not, but it just feels weird. It feels like it's really coming in at me on a good angle here. Yeah, I wasn't seeing the ball well on that guy right there. Matt, you got to run through the bag. You can't peel off. It's a pet peeve of mine. And a runner left on. Now at the plate, Carlos Fuentes. He's been hit by a pitch. Shoot, what am I today? One for four? All right. Fly ball, I got to throw a third. Ground ball, I got to throw home. And he turns this one around. Why are you breaking in, Matt? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. To the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Wowzers! And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Reaction should have been a minus. Arm accuracy was terrible. I'm one for five? Oh, Matt. Oh, this guy again. I don't like this guy. I got to get on the fastball. I can't pick it up that great. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this is just a yeah, just a spinner. A little cement mixer right there. Back no break to it. Just right it's a poopy there. slider. Come fastball. Pitch. If you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. <clears throat> Why? Those look so good. Why are they low? Stick with the heater. Swing, high drive, left field. Go ball. Go ball. Go. Go. And this ball is gone. A baby. No to make a play on Man, that just saved my day right there. That's right. Just dropped it's an F-bomb in his glove. Take that. Sixth home run on the season for him, as they just Let's point to the people in Tennessee. Yep, there we go. The freaking guy's the most popular guy in the league. 
I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw oh, that no, pitch to that guy. Don't very forget, heavy footsteps. He yesterday, so you know Those are angry footsteps right here. There. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Maybe she's just excited that I went deep. I don't know. Very nervous. Can we just end this game? Can we please just end it? I don't want to get yelled at. Bases loaded. Two outs. I'm going to make a spectacular catch. End the game. Oh my god. Right fielder. Wow. That is a big time bomb right there. Wow. That's some oppo juice. So he promptly unloads the base. We don't need to watch it. Home run number two for him. Okay, we'll take the win. Try to claw back. It's a five Slap hands. Deficit. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Big game right there. Two for six, I think, but I'll take it. Is that my boy Richie right there? At least I get to hang out with Richie more in the outfield. Oh, wait, no. Richie plays third. What am I talking about? Do I know my teammates? Good job, Ross, with the win. Not the best game in the world. Man, we really hit the ball well right there. 18 hits. Wow. Okay, let me tell you real quick about my Milwaukee story since I started and stopped a bunch. So, um, Prince Fielder hits the ball on the right field line. Man on first. I think it was Ryan Brown. MLB the show. And for more I run out. I'm playing second. I run out to be the double cut. So I'm the lead man. It's down the right field line. I'm the lead man. Our first baseman, Adrian Gonzalez, is the trailer. We're setting up home. They throw me the ball. I cut it. I turn. I see Braun. I think it's Braun. Right? We're going to pretend it's Braun. But I do think it was him. He's rounding third. And literally, I have the ball. And I'm like, oh, my God. He's out by like 50 feet right here. And I throw this thing 100 miles an hour, and it goes about 30 feet over the catcher's head, smashes into the netting, runners, run, fielder, not very fast, running around the bases like, you know, it's a freaking merry-go-round. And uh, I was like, oh, geez, that, that was the worst throw of my life. And I just did it in a major league game. And so that night, I'm sitting in my bed. And I'm watching Sports Center, and uh, back then that's when I don't even know if sport. I, I don't watch Sports Center really. I don't watch TV anymore. Um, watching Sports Center, they flash the Padres Brewers game, and here's Prince Fielder, and he drives it down the right field line, and I'm like, I don't want to watch. I'm like, where's the remote? Where? I grab the remote, and I shut the TV off as fast as I can before I see myself throw it off the net, and uh, never watch Sports Center again that year. That is a true story. And I love Sports Center. And my wife is really walking hard right now. Can you hear that? I mean, it sounds like King Kong is upstairs. The, I don't. I'm, she might get mad at me, Kong or King Kong. She's just walking with very heavy feet right now. I hope she does not watch this episode. Okay, here we go. Adam Curtis. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. High in the air and deep to left center field. That's gone. Antonelli jump. Jump. Go dive. Jump. How do I jump? Good for you, buddy. You look extremely unathletic. Got to be a first baseman or something. Okay. Here we go. Four seam cutter, curveball, and slider. First delivery to him on the way. Ooh, that's a pretty hard slider. 89. What are you doing in double A, dude? You have an 89 mile an hour slider. He doesn't even look excited. Clearly, this guy does this all the time. No one is impressed. Well, I'm impressed. I don't want to see this 100 mile an hour fastball. 97. I have no chance right here. If this is real life, it's no chance. But good news for me, it's a video game. I have no chance. It's real life. Oh, Lars said it's not real life. It is real life. Totally psyched myself out that at that. But 97 with an 89 mile an hour slider, like, I have no chance. That reminds me of another story that I've told once or twice before when I faced Baldo Jimenez for the first time. Come on! 
That's a nice running catch. I don't want to use all my stories up in one day, but I mean... I was facing you, Baldo Jimenez. I'm going to use him up. This is back when he was with the Rockies, and he was like, basically a Cy Young Award winner. I think he came in second. Two outs, uh, first and second. I got to throw home on the ground. Um, and I get up there, and he throws the first pitch. I take it. It says 90. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, what a play. That's how you play center field. So he throws it, and the thing goes, boom. Boom, I take it. And I was like, what the hell was that? And I look up, it says 90 miles an hour. It looked like a slider. I think it was a slider. I was like, holy God. Is that a 90 mile an hour slider? Then he throws me the same pitch. Boom! Same thing. I'm like, what the hell is that? 90 again. Then I, third pitch. Boom! Again. Strike three. I don't swing at all. I just go sit down. Four seam cutter. Purple. Kind of like against this guy. I got to get I gotta get started here. Get it ready. It's a different guy. Love that pitch right there, and he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball. I think it's the same guy. The I don't know. Just bends onto the inside corner. A lot now he's throwing me these slow curveballs. Open up way too early, and they guy throws them. Oh, not slow. They're 82 mile an hour curveballs. That's still. All right, he's gonna throw me a fastball in here. Go ahead, throw it to me. I'm gonna turn on it. Now the one and one pitch he's is up. swung on and missed, and that's strike two. He's got a 95 mile an hour cutter. This guy's the greatest pitcher to ever walk the planet. Why is he in double A right now? In the air out toward right field. Quintus sprinting after. Good job staying on a two two strike breaking ball. If I were him, I'd take that breaking ball, I put it in a bag, tie it up, and throw it off a cliff. Because why are you throwing that breaking ball? You have a cutter at ninety five, a fastball at ninety seven, and a slider at 89. Why are you throwing that rinky dink breaking ball? I gotta face him again. First pitch coming, here it is. And that's by him. Damn. Oh and one. Good job there to jump ahead with the fastball. If he's, he's gonna have to make a mistake for me there, to hit the something. The fastball is what he's going to start to need locating first and foremost. Then he can work his other pitches off nope. of that. Popped him up. Curtis has a play. Let's get out of Tennessee, boys. I've had enough of De Jesus for one day. One hit, for the whole season, left. really. I can't hit him. Ready for another shot now, Matt Antonelli. No hits in three tries so Matt. far. All right, this is one of those at bats right here. We just got to salvage the day. I mean, I might get up. I'm probably getting up again. But what do we got here? Four seam curveball, two seam. Okay, good. We put in a guy that stinks. I should be able to destroy this guy. He likes his fastball. Man on first, one out. Get on the fastball He's now. And the pitch. And a ball, one and oh. Guy throws 95, too. Human element at a game right there. Man, you're ugly. Miss a couple calls. That's why I didn't get that call. Oh, right. That's gonna make him successful today. Come on now, get on the fastball again. Throw right down the middle. Ready with the one oh pitch. Good take. Okay, this one's gonna be grooved. He doesn't have enough off speed pitches. He's just gonna throw me a fastball right here, and I'm going to hit it out to Jupiter. Power curve, if you will. Now the 2 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. I'm assuming I was way early on that. They're showing a replay. Oh my god, Matt, 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 your bangs are in your eyes. What was that swing? I was so excited for that pitch. It was right where I wanted it, I was a mile ahead of it. Throw it again. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just How am I missing the these? Why am I so early? They're 95, aren't they? Two of the best pitches ever. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he you deserve to sit down on that, Matt. That's horse contact. manure. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing My that. God. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth. And Caught shot. For the strikeout. Ball. When you work off your hard stuff, Caught it shot. really opens up your secondary Caught shot. to be more deceptive. Not even close. Standing in, Josh Couture. Okay. He's going to make a big play here. What do we got? First and second. On the ground, I got to throw home. In the air, depending on where it is, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. And. No, why are you throwing it first? And there's a big out number. 
Matt's just trying to sabotage his center field career. He's sick of playing there, so he figures if I just take the ball and throw it to the wrong base every time, maybe they'll move me to a new position. Okay. Get. Oh, is this a new guy? This is a new guy. Four seam, 12 6 curve, and a slider. He really likes that curveball. Is that what that little big blue line means? First pitch of the at bat. Dude, I'd be pissed if I threw that pitch and didn't get a call to strike. Throw me something slow right here. Throw that little rinky dink breaking ball. Threw a fastball. Blew it right by him at 90. Oh, another one of those games where I went out drinking last night. The one one is a fastball that misses. I think it's a nasty fastball. 95 did that say? It felt like it was a cutter sinker combo. Those don't even exist. He jammed him pretty hard. Come on, make a mistake right here, right now. Let's go. Cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Good. Should I take this just to give myself a chance? So I'm taking it unless it's a fastball right down the middle. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Good. Wasn't a fastball right down the middle. Hit hard on the ground. Come on, get there, get there, get there. Can't pick it up cleanly. And a good he's able to stick with it. Got beat on a fastball. So two runs. Right down the middle, 0 for 5. Wins in a row, and it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this, you eat the same. Yeah, I do like my guy though. He seems to be pretty upbeat, even when he stinks. Same because you don't want to do anything to jeopardize this streak. Oh for five, Daryl Reagan, Kyle, tapping in the Richie. Andres Valero claims the win out of the pen. I have not seen Richie in a while. Let's go back to the clubhouse and regroup. <sighs> How long have I been playing for? Ah, 27 minutes. You know, I kind of want to play another game. I don't want to end on an 0 for 5 game. Oh, boy. Keep improving. See, I told you we're sabotaging our center field career here. Keep improving your throwing accuracy. Don't overlook it. Feeling the ball cleanly and with good balance will put you in a position to deliver it on target. You know what would put me in position to deliver it on target? Playing my natural position, Skip. This isn't even my Skip, I don't think. I don't, I don't pay attention to who's talking to me. Sure thing. So I'd like to keep going. But I don't want to get yelled at. So we'll see you tomorrow.